Okay, so I asked you on Twitter to send me some images for me to edit, and I said I was gonna start as soon as I came home, but it's been a couple hours now, sorry. <laughs> so let's uh, check the replies. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, so we have a mix of uh, memes and uh, the posters for me to edit, so um, I was expecting uh, uh, everyone to post their poster for me to edit, but Anyway, memes uh, also works, so I'll start with this one. Let's see what I can do with it. So I'm gonna use paint.net because that's what I, well, always use. Okay, so what can uh, we do with this? Uh, it's very green, so maybe I can like uh, mix with the colors, perhaps? Okay, it already looks quite interesting, but I also want to change the brightness and contrast a little bit, I think. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna duplicate the layer and change the brightness and contrast kind of like that and then i'm gonna go to blurs and motion blur kind of like that and then i'm gonna set a blend mode to hmm you know what? i'm not so sure about that okay so i'm gonna make the contrast very intense like <laughs> like that <laughs> and then i'm gonna set a motion blur like that and then i'm gonna set the blend mode to additive i think or screen yeah, probably additive. Uh, does does this look good? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe it's too intense. I'll I'll tweak the pass it a little bit. Yeah, that's a bit better. I think I want some glitch effects because I think it can look pretty cool. I'm gonna flatten the image, copy it, undo, and then make a new layer and paste it so we have every layer in in a single layer. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to pixel. It. Nope, not over blur. Uh, I'm gonna pixelate it like that uh, and I'm gonna uh, make a new layer and paste it again and now I'm gonna randomly make uh, squares and rectangles and don't forget to hold control so you so you don't lose uh, so you don't lose the previous selection so I'm gonna randomly make squares here and there in different shapes and sizes around this uh, ink thing wait wait I didn't even know that when making the selection you can also hold the right click to move it around. Okay, that's actually really cool. Well, you learn something you learn something new every day. I think I'm gonna use that quite often actually, so that's good. <laughs> so now we have a couple rectangles, so now I'm gonna press delete. And now as you can see, uh, there are some pixelated parts here and there, so it looks kinda glitchy, which looks pretty cool. Uh, so now I'm gonna flatten the image again, and copy, undo, make a new layer, and paste and now i'm gonna make some more glitch effects so now i want to offset a row of pixels somewhere so kind of like uh, i don't want the face to be disturbed so like there yeah there and then i'm gonna just pick the move tool move selected pixels and then hold control and just press the arrow keys on my keyboard and like just offset it a bit as you can see to create some more glitch effects basically okay i don't want it here i can literally just delete this like that Bam. Okay, it's starting to look pretty interesting, uh, but we can still do more. So I'm gonna flatten it again and copy and make a new layer and paste it. That's uh, just a standard thing I do, so I can easily apply the effect to everything on the image and not just one single layer. I'll try to add some noise, but I'm not too sure about th that idea. Uh, I'm gonna add some noise, then I'm gonna downscale it like that, maybe even more like that and then i'm gonna deselect and then i'm gonna upscale it again so now the noise is way bigger like that i'm gonna see what i can do with it i'm gonna experiment a bit hmm maybe i can like do something like yeah hmm uh, maybe i can overlay it okay now we're talking okay Interesting, uh, interesting. I only want the grain texture in the ink a little bit here as well. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and now I want to make the eyes glow because I always do that and I like the effect. I'm just gonna quickly copy the eyes onto a new layer. Then I'm gonna go to glow and make the eyes glow. I don't want the radius. I'm gonna decrease the radius. I'm gonna increase the brightness and contrast like that. And then I'm gonna just erase the edges so the, only the actual eyes uh, and not the the white part of the eye there we go here's before and after and i also want the eyes to glow so i'm just gonna quickly copy them and blur them uh, like that and then i'm gonna set a blend mode like that and maybe duplicate to make them glow even more 
like that. Now they glow a lot. And then I'm gonna make a new layer, pick green, and then just put some blurry dots, make them glow even more, but make it very subtle. Okay, that's actually, okay, That that's too much. That is not, what can I do more? Uh, glow, I think glow can look pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna try to select some of it. Uh, it's gonna be pretty weird. I don't want to hand uh, select it. I'm, I want, I'm, I'm not gonna bother hand selecting it. It's too blurry. I need to decrease the blur. That's a bit better. Uh, from a distance, I'm not too sure about that actually. I'm literally just gonna use one of my photos from uh, from my phone uh, to use as a background. I'll tweak it. I'll, I'll tweak it so it can look quite interesting. Uh, I'm gonna make it four by three instead. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Damn it! I think I'm just ruining it by now. And here we have it. The first edit for today. And I have quite a bit more. <laughs> Oh, I can do something with this. Okay, <laughs> I have an idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, so now we have it cut out. I think you can see where I'm going with this. I need to do more cutting. Okay, now. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay. <laughs> I need to feather it a bit. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, next one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we have something here. Okay, I think we have a banger here. Literally. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna first crop him out. I mean, cut him out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, first I'm gonna balance the color a bit. Make it more blue. His face is so red. Now it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't expect this to be good. <laughs> Am I gonna bother to, to make the shadow realistic and good? Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Eh, <laughs> eh, good, good enough, good enough. I'm questioning everything I'm doing right now. Yep, that's enough of that. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna spend any more time. Yeah, that, that's fine, yes, of course, next one. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. Okay, the resolution is... Oh, God. Hmm. Okay, I tried to run it in, uh... It in an AI upscaler and it's better I guess but it's still you can obviously still see the compression artifacts but it'll, it'll have to do what I'm gonna do first is duplicate the layer and cut out the inkling I can barely see where I'm supposed to mask it there we go so now uh, how can I make this better if I can blur the background a bit hmm then the inkling from the background gets blurred as well I'm gonna use the clone stamp and like erase him from the original image and then do the blur it works I mean I can't really do much with this and that's <laughs> that's a problem it's really hard to do something uh, because I want it to look good I mean it's something I guess Eh, uh, why not? Yeah, why not? First, I'm gonna make the eyes glow, because I like to do that. Then erase the edges. Now I'm gonna add some glow already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see some clipping here and there, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna clean it up. And if it's intentional, sorry. <laughs> For some reason, I have It's Everyday Bro stuck in my head. How do I get out of this nightmare? I also want these dots to glow, so I'm gonna quickly... God damn it. I'm gonna quickly uh, select all of them. Hmm. Yeah, this is starting to look kind of neat. Gonna do some color grading, some RGB shift, and that's pretty much it. So another one done. Zap the zap. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we do? <laughs> can we do something with this? Uh, sorry, I didn't record this, but uh, here's another one. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The same damn game again, but with Tommy. I I really want this game. Where can I buy it? Ah. Uh, hmm. I'm about to do something very illegal. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. That. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that, yeah, that worked, totally worked. Okay, time to improvise. Oh, <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if the world is ready to see this, and I'm not sure I am either. I mean, to be fair, he said do your worst, but I'm about up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I think that's enough for today. I've done quite a few now and I've recorded for a very long time, so I'm just gonna end it here. We, st <laughs> we started off with something quite decent, but then it quickly spiraled out to, yeah, this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then we, we got back to Splatoon posters again, and then the ending. <laughs> yeah.
that's it for the video. So this was just a test to see if uh, if this would be interesting to watch. And uh, if you liked it, uh, t tell me if I should make another one. And yeah, that's it for the video. So thanks so much for watching and bye!